Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you with another Dollar Tree DIY. Well, actually, this is going to be a combination of Dollar Tree and Walmart. So I will be using a real um, light this time, but I will not be showing how to do that part. I am not a, an electrician. And so this is my disclaimer. I will not be teaching how to wire um, electricity. So I'm starting with one of these mops from the um, Dollar Tree, one of these little squeegee mops. And this is optional. Since I'm not showing the electrical part, I really could have skipped this part, but this is what I use to run the electric cord through the mop handle. So here I burned the tip off of the bottom of the mop um, handle. I didn't have any pliers to pull it out. Well, pliers that were big enough to pull it out. So I just burned the tip of it off using my solder gun. So next I'm taking the electrical cord and I'm running it through the bottom of the mop handle. And this gave me a really hard time. I don't know why it just wouldn't go all the way through to the other side. It's like it kept getting stuck on something. But when you look through it, it was like a hollow hole. I don't understand why it was giving me such a hard time, but I finally made it, got it to go all the way through after several attempts. So here I'm taking my solder gun, well, wood burning kit tool here to um, burn the hole through the bowl so I can have a hole for the mop handle to go into. So this method I found was a bit easier and it left a smoother um, surface. So I just placed it in the center and I just uh, let it heat up a little bit and then I just took it and started moving it in a circular motion. So once I was going around in a circular motion, the middle was just disappearing. So I just did that until I felt like the hole was big enough. And I want to, um, you want to go ahead and do this to all your bowls. You, and you only want to do this if you're using the electrical light switch to plug in. If you're just going to use some push lights, this part is um, absolutely unnecessary. Just do this if you're using the electrical light. So here I'm just spreading some of the fix all glue around the, the rim of this bowl so that I can adhere the two bowls together. Um, you can use whatever type of glue that you desire. And you guys, this idea actually came from a channel called Beauty Meets DIY with um, Helen. She, I love her channel. She hasn't been active lately, but she will be back. So you guys go and check out her channel and show her some love. But she actually made a table um, using these bowls. So that's where I kind of got the idea with the um, base of this lamp, with just using the bowls um, from her channel. So you guys check out her channel and show her some love as well. So I'm just trying to adhere these bowls together. I'm using the fix all. And you can use whatever type of glue that you desire to use. I'm just using a craft stick to place some to fix all. And I'm following up with some hot, some hot glue so that I can adhere these bowls together. You can go ahead and adhere all of these together. If, you have, if you're going to use the electrical part and you have, you have all of your um, holes melted into the bowl, you can go ahead and adhere all of your bowls together. But you want to leave the bottom part uh, with just a half a bowl turned down as well as the top part. You can go ahead and do that part. So you just want to adhere these together. You want to hold these and make sure everything is lined up. So I'm using this cup here and I actually, it was a, I think it's called a dessert cup from the Dollar Tree. This wasn't in the plan. I actually decided I wanted to do mine a little bit taller. And since I had already made that hole for the bottom, I actually uh, made the hole a little bit too big for the bottom part. Wasn't thinking about the bottom or the top. So I had to use something to kind of fill in that hole. So I just use this little bowl here, um, cup, or whatever you want to call this here, just to um, have something for the glue to adhere to so I can fill it in with more glue and just to fill in that hole to make this, um, make the, the rod here more sturdy. So here I'm just taking the, um, the pole and I'm running it through the bowls. I don't have all of the bowls glued together yet. Um, this is when I discovered that I wanted it to be a little bit taller. I did kind of just stack them up just to see before I glued everything down. So I'm taking, um, you want to run it through from the bottom. 
because you want that cord that goes into the wall to be um, on the bottom part. I'm just taking this and I'm gluing it down to this layer here and I will have to add um, two more, let's see, one, two, yeah, two more bowls to the end of this. One to close up this bowl. So it's gonna be two bowls touching from rim to rim and then it's gonna be another bowl that's gonna be facing um, downward. So the back side will be touching the next bowl that I connect to this. So it's gonna be two more bowls connected to this um, piece here. So this piece actually sits on the second layer up. You have the one bowl that's half, just a half bowl, well one half a bowl, and then you have the two sets of bowls. And it's gonna be sitting in the two sets. This is for the lamp to be a little bit taller. If you don't want it taller, just put it on that bottom layer that's gonna be facing down. So you can just leave it just like this if you don't want it taller than, than what it um, already is. And all I'm doing is gluing to secure this piece in place. So here I went ahead and I glued the last two bowls together, um, bottom to bottom. And this is what I was speaking of where I needed to connect the two bowls together. So you see where that bottom piece, where the, um, the pole is connected in the two, is going to be in the part with the two bowls that's joined together. And then you have the one bowl that's going to be facing downward um, when all of this is glued together. So I'm just adding the glue so I can adhere these together. And I have the cord already um, positioned in the hole. So just want to add the two pieces together so just like that and I'll continue to um, build the top but also on this bottom you want to go ahead and cut a little um, you want to burn a little slit in the bottom of in the bottom bowl so your core can have a place to rest so it can sit level on the floor now if you also want to put something down um, to add to the base I did place a charger um, on the bottom um, before I finished but I never did um, glue the charger down but that is an option if you want to place a charger down so I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to burn a little slit on the side enough for the cord to fit in and you do want to take it all the way to the end of the bowl because you have the end of the cord that's not going to fit so you just want it to be wide enough for the width of the cord to fit in there, just like that. So this piece here, if this is actually optional. There's other ways that you can do this, but I'm using this piece to hold the socket for my light fixture. Um, so I'm taking the end off. I'm just gonna burn the little tip off and I will spray paint it white. I chose white because I was actually gonna go a different route other than the actual lampshade that I currently have. So I was going to use white, but the lampshade, I just could never get my thoughts together on how I wanted to really do that lampshade. So I went some, I went a totally different direction than what I originally intended. So basically I'm just cutting this tip off, well burning this tip off, and I'm going to spray paint it white. And like I said, this part is optional, depending on if you're gonna use electrical or the push lights or LED lights or whatever type of lights you're gonna use. But even if you do the electrical part, there are other ways other than this piece here. So next I burn a little hole, um, just enough for that little piece to fit in. So I'm taking the piece that I spray painted and I'm just gonna place it in the center of this bowl. And like I said, you just wanna make that hole just large enough for the little end to fit in the, on the inside. And once it's in there, you just want to follow up with some hot glue to make sure that it's secure. I'm just going to glue my other pieces down. I also run a layer of hot glue around the piece once they're joined together to make sure that it's secure. So here I'm just applying some fix all. So I joined two napkin rings together and I'm also adding some of the the beads, like the necklace beads, Mardi Gras beads, and I'm wrapping it around the, the two napkin rings. This is optional. This 
actually doesn't even show on the lamp and I did this in silver because I was going a different direction at first but everything changed when I got to the end now it's gold and blue so this is how it looks with the monogram beads wrapped around the napkin rings and I'm going to add some hot glue the fix all is already on the top and just add it to the top so this piece will be sitting on top of the napkin rings you I still have the mop, the mop piece with the wire that's hanging out and I'm going to feed the wire through the hole on this bottom and bring it through to the white piece and that's where the socket is going to sit. So on to the lampshade because I'm not showing the electrical part. And I say that because as I stated before, I am not an electrician and I definitely do not want anyone to be injured or seriously, um, seriously injured, killed or start any fires as a result of watching my video and trying to um, wire electrical com components and don't have experience. I'm not experienced at it. I mean, well, I can pretty much figure some things out, but I, I'm not licensed. I'm not a, an electrician, so I will not be showing how to wire electrical components. That's a very dangerous thing to deal with if you're not experienced. So I just do not care to show that part. Um, so I hope you guys can understand that. I'm sure you guys, there are some of you guys that know how to do that kind of stuff. And if you know how to do it, that's perfectly fine. If you don't know what you're doing and you desire to build your own and um, use the electrical components, please get someone that's experienced and know how, how to do that kind of stuff to help you do it or let them do it for you. So that's all you guys. My disclaimer again, I am not an electrician, so that's why I did not show that part. And I don't want to see any of my viewers hurt. So guys, just, you know, just chill out on that part. Use some of the push lights or if you know what you're doing, go ahead, have at it. But if you don't, just use some of the push lights. Um, so with the lampshade, basically I just used some of the pillowcases from the Dollar Tree, the sequin pillowcases, and I just cut them open and just took all the stuffing out and basically hot glued them down. I pulled them as tightly as possible and glued them really tight. And I also went around the parts that didn't have the sequin with some diamond wrap. So basically that's it, you guys, and I'll show you the final look. So this is the final look, you guys. I just placed it over here just to give you an idea how it would look with the colors. Um, of course, I still don't have my place together. Nothing is matching. Not really anyway. It's not like I would like it to be. So I just place things here and there as I make them. Um, some things I keep, some things I give away. Um, but this is the final look. I like the look of the sequin on the lampshade. This is a totally different direction of how I originally set out to create this lamp. Um, not really sure if I like the clear acrylic look with the sequin, but um, it may grow on me, but we'll see. But anyway, this is the final look, you guys. Um, and you can move that sequin. It's two-toned. You can... Uh, put it in one direction or put it in the other direction and that was another thing too when I placed these down I made sure that the sequin would whichever direction I put it in that it would have the same flow around the whole lampshade so do you do want to make sure of that as well so that's it you guys just showing you how you can move that sequin around I really like these and I thought I was going to keep these pillows, but like I said, when I was creating this, um, I just went in a totally different direction, had no intentions on ripping out the stuffing out of these pillows. So, but that's it, you guys. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and please share, share, share. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that I upload. And also, you can leave me comments. If I haven't gotten to your comment from previous videos, I will get to them. I am um, dealing with a lot of things in my life right now, um, but I am trying to get to them as soon as I can. And that's it, you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. So until next time, you guys.
Bye.